Welcome back to another episode of Zach the Fisherman. Today, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I'm gonna flip a coin, then decide. Here's my quarter. Heads, we go pike fishing. Tails, we go walleye fishing. What is it? That would be heads. The coin decided, pike fishing. Yesterday, I went pike fishing. My arms are a little bit jello. I did a lot of casting with big baits. I caught some babies. Had one really nice one chase up, but that's it. I need my caffeine for the day. Ooh, I need my sun shirt. <sighs> See, I got distracted. Forgot my energy drink. The one thing I came back for. There we go. Truck yesterday hit half a million kilometers. No big deal. It's my first truck I've owned since I was 16. Let's get on the water and let's start throwing these big baits for big pike. The goal is 40 inches. Okay, so where we are fishing today is a weed patch. 10 feet of water, it's a mixed batch. There's some coontail, there's some cabbage, there's some grass. It's got a little bit of everything. I seen a few big fish here yesterday. That's why I'm trying here again. Just throwing on a two foot leader, Mason stainless steel nylon coated casting leader. I'm trying them out. I've never tried them out before, but they seem to be, I don't know, decent. And all we're throwing is a big, Dimpled Series Len Thompson. I believe this is the raspberry color. Don't quote me on that. I could be 100% wrong. Darker conditions, clouds in the sky. Though, behind me, looks like some good weather ahead. Can't catch a fish while talking, so. Let's get a line in the water. And always when you're fishing for pike leave your line in the water until the very last second don't just rip it in have a look and see if there's a pike chasing it or what you have it fish wanted it super slow yesterday That's not a bad one. There we go. He's not a giant by any means. That's a fair sized pike. Uh, no, he's just a thick dog. He's bleeding a bit, let's get him back. There you go, friend. Thank you for the first fish of the day. And he is gone. If that hook wasn't barbless, that would have been a lot harder. And this lake is zero retention. So if you're fishing for fish with a zero limit, pinch your barbs. They don't really help you catch fish. If you keep that fish pinned, you are going to catch fish regardless. I know it's not the law here in Alberta. A barbed hook, I don't believe, is gonna change the outcome of you bringing in a fish or not. So as long as you keep that line tight, don't let it go slack, you'll be able to bring them in. Let's try a different spoon here. We're gonna switch it up. Another Len Thompson. Did you know Fun fact that Len Thompson's are made in Alberta, I believe Lacombe. And they're pretty big business. You go from Saskatchewan, Manitoba, BC, all across Canada, you find Len Thompson's. Big fish just jumped behind me. One thing I noticed immediately, the spoon is a little heavier. It's gonna sink a little deeper. Feels like a squeaker. There we go. He might not be. 
or he's in the weeds. That might be a decent, better fish. That might be a better fish. He's not bad. He's not bad. He's not terrible. He's barely hooked though. There's a leader. That's a respectable fish. There we go. And the hook is out of his face already. Okay, look what we brought up with that. A ton of cabbage. That guy was hanging out in there, waiting for a bait fish to come by. What a healthy fish. He's definitely not a monster, but that right there is a healthy fish. Let's get a measurement. 30, one and a half inches. What a nice fish. Get this fish back. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice. We caught a decent fish there. Definitely not the 40 I was looking for. But you know what? It's a start. It is definitely a start. Decent fish. I'm not complaining at that at all. Got one. There we go. He is tiny. Maybe, or maybe he's swimming. Oh no, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. They're getting better. They're, they're definitely getting better. They're definitely getting better. That is a nice fish. This fish did not fight nearly as good. Oh jeez. Calm down, you big dramatic lady. Okay, mm. now now all your fights in the net, hey? Now all your fights in the net. Well look, let me just get this hook out of the net so I can pick you up, take a picture, and then put you back in the lake. Okay? Okay? You got that? Do you agree with this contract? No, you don't. You don't agree with this contract? Okay, that's fine. What's well, gonna happen anyway? It's like, you know what? Let's just grab her. Deal with her, put her back. What a fish, man. It's got cataract, she's an old lady. Come here, you big dramatic lady. Come here, okay. Three, two, one. Wow. That is a nice northern pike. Let's get a measurement. Oh, we are close. Look at that. Nose touching. 39 and a quarter. That is what I'm talking about. Look at that fish. Let's get this girl back so we can get our hook. I'm sorry that you don't agree with our contract, buddy. It is what it is. There you go. What a fish. What a fish. <laughs> so close to 40. We're gonna get there. Now, what a beautiful fish. There has to be some monsters in here, man. So close to 40 inches on that one. She had a cataract in her eye. I don't know if that's maybe from ice fishing. Someone caught her and then her eye froze. It's so important to take care of those big female fish. Those big fish because they are the females that breed and take care of this lake. They repopulate it. They put those good genes back in here. And they are what make a fishery great. So whether it be summer, winter, fall, spring, take care of fish. I love the opportunity to come here 
and catch some big northern pike. Got one. Little guy. Little guy. I just caught your mom, buddy. I just caught your mom. Is that like some kind of sick your mom joke? There you go. Didn't even have to pull the pliers. It looks like rain's coming. We're expecting some rain around one o'clock. We've been fishing for an hour now, so I think I'm gonna stay here. I've had some good success. Caught almost a 40 inch pike. So let's keep going. Got one. Feels like a better fish. That feels like a better fish. He's definitely dug himself into the weeds though. Not a better fish. <laughs> Just a fish full of weeds. The weeds are longer than him. Would you look at that? Okay, spit it. Can you do it? Yeah, there you go. Also, a benefit to barbless. You just shake them off. Put a little slack and they're gone. Gross. For some reason, that little guy there, even though he had 10 pounds of weeds with him, he definitely felt better than that 39 inch or. I don't even think that fish knew it was hooked until it was in the net because it darted into the net and then, yeah. It's raining. I didn't realize it was raining, but it's raining. 6.30. I am exhausted. Been fishing all day long and I can't catch a fish. It's been a very slow, unproductive afternoon, to say the least. I tied on something a little bit unique, but man, has it been slow. See if we can get one more fish in the rain and then we'll call it a day. Got one. There we go. It's a decent pike, it's not a tank. But that's a fat fish. I need to. Need to perform a little surgery on you, buddy. Healthy fish, healthy fish. There we go. There we go. It's a respectable fish. It's definitely no monster, but it's the first fish since I think 11 and it's 6 30 so that makes me happy maybe i waited out a little bit longer i don't know nice little pike respectable size not too big not too small bleeding a little bit let's get you back buddy there you go <sighs> Definitely not a 40 incher, but a good sign. And that fish hit it super aggressively. It wasn't just the tap, tap, tap that I've been having all day long. This is the point in time when I go and sharpen my hooks. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. I left my sharpener. I think I was talking about this this morning. I don't know, it's been a, such a long day. 
I left my sharpener with all my lake trout stuff. So. Coming out of that weed bed, so. Oh, I just got a hit. Oh my gosh. This might be good. This might be good. Anything chasing? No. There's that big storm coming. You can see the rain in it. Oh, I just got a hit. Not paying attention. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little guy. But did you see that? The hook flew out of the water and he still took it. I'm not even going to take you out of the water. <sighs> that was cool. Here, come here. Let me just quickly. There you go. Oh, thanks for the splash, buddy. Things are picking up. Not the size. But you just got to fish through them. I'm out of the weed bed now, so I gotta move. How do those clouds look? Yeah, those are just some rain. That's just some rain. It looks like some heavy rain. I hope I close the windows in the truck. The weeds are so thick here through here when I'm auto charting, sometimes it's saying four feet, three feet, even though it is eight feet. They're just so thick that the fish finder can't read the bottom, which is kind of insane found this new area. It's not too far out. It's like a little reef rather than where I was fishing before over there. I found this little reef just by pure luck. Where's Miss Piggy? Here, Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy, Miss Piggy. Oh, that feels like Miss Piggy maybe. No head shakes. No, just a little guy. Just a little guy. You're supposed to be Miss Piggy. Where's your mom? I know I said I caught your mom earlier, but yeah. Sheesh. Calm down. Calm down. You're hooked. You're hooked. Let me just get it out of your mouth. I get it. I get it, man. It's uncomfortable. Now you're just making this whole situation uncomfortable, okay? Okay, relax. Let me just grab the hook. Let me just grab the hook and let you go. Was that hard? Tell your mom I'm looking for her. like it's the same fish. There you go. There has to be some bigger fish here. I do keep catching those cookie cutters though. Seven o'clock. That's when the rain was supposed to start. It was misting for a bit. Gonna go fish the other weed bed just over here. Oh, that's rain. Coming right for me. Big rain. Darn. <laughs> Been watching the sunset this whole time and I turn around and Okay. Got one. That's a nice one. As soon as it hit the water, he jumped. That's a nice fish. Okay, Zach. He's in the weeds. I think he's hooked good though. I think he's hooked good. Oh yeah, he's really in the weeds. I think he's free now. 
This is a big fish. This is a big fish. Oh. Okay. He's really in those weeds though. I hope I don't make a fool of myself saying he's big. Yeah, he's big, he's big, he's big. Oh, he's big, he's big, he's big. Might even be my 40 big. Okay. He's big, he's big. Oh, okay. Big, I think that's my new personal best. Oh my gosh. What a toad! Oh, 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 oh. It me, it's it's fat. It's fat. It's, it might not be that long, but sheesh! Look at the head on that thing. <laughs> I've been waiting all day for this fish. All day, man. Thank you so much. And it was soon as it hit the water, just slurped it up. A trick with pike. See where I'm grabbing them? Sometimes that pit, sometimes that will calm their nerves. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let's grab this fish. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm vibrating. <laughs> Let's get a measurement of this beautiful fish. There we go. Oh my gosh. That is my personal best northern pike at 43 inches what a toad what a toad 12 hours of fishing i worked so hard for this fish and look how mean that thing is what a beast oh i don't even care that i'm slimy Okay, okay, okay. You want to go back. You want to go back. I get it. Okay. Oh, just look at that fish. Oh, wow. You ready to go, girl? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure you take care of these fish. Make sure that when she's ready to go, she can go. Oh, beautiful pike. Oh, wow. You ready to go? You ready to kick? There you go. What a fish that was. New personal best. 12 hours of fishing. I put the work in, but I did it. I was so stressed that when she was in those weeds that I was gonna lose it. Oh, a part of me wants me to just go home. Hey, the clouds are gone. The rain's gone. Ah. Uh, I can hear the rain coming. It is sheet rain. I'm gonna take these cameras down, throw them in the bag. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. It's a shame that, yeah, I only caught two fish. Yeah, it's raining. Bye. Peace.